What is going on, y'all? Your man King Mills TV back at you guys with another video. This is the cash nap action to the drama. I just want to hear. I'm not gonna like it's 40 minutes, bro. Skip through some of this shit. Just want to hear what he got to say, and then he was really going. Yo, what's good, everybody? This is not a special video, but this right here is a serious video. And I'm be honest with y'all, man. This is probably like my. Let me show y'all. 20 second take 20 second take this is the video we're working on now <laughs> hopefully we don't cancel this one i said it in the last video and um we just knock it all out man just be honest with y'all i don't know how to even express myself to you guys how this right here made me feel man because we had deeper connection you know outside you know the net you know i'm gonna take you guys all the way back um uh, probably about a year and, and some change. I did a video on my main channel. I think it's like, you dunk with me, you win cash, or whatever it is. Uh, that was Nick in the video. Mm. That's before um, he became the person he is right now, you know, with Savage Squad and things like that, man. Um, we connected through IG. He was doing videos where he was dunking on people at 24 Hour Fitness. I reached out to him. He came to LA. We did a collab. Um, I met up with him and Iman, uh, who I call Abraham in the videos. You know, we were cool dudes. You know, we connected from there. You know, he stayed in contact. He he asked for some advice, you know, through uh through management and things like that, bro. You know, I always want a helping hand to him. Yo, this man is real, like it's crazy. He's he's a he's a real he's real. That's that's love right there. I see why my man fifty cow be, you know what I'm saying? That's that's something you can't get. Like that's a Genuine dude, that's, that's, that's love right there. Let's go. Bro, you know, I would have never thought of all people, you know, this would come from him. You know, and um, fast forward to now, bro, that shit really hurt me, bro. Mm. <sighs> that shit really hurt me, Nick. Um, Wait, what happened? Bro, I waited three days. I waited three days for him to just come out with a... A serious apology, you know, just hit me up. You know, I ain't gonna say that he didn't hit me up and didn't say my bad, I'm starting like that, bro. But the apologies were beat around the bush. It wasn't him taking accountability, you know. Like I could respect the fact if you say, yo, you know what, Cash, bro, I done this right here. You know, my bad, bro. I got caught in a moment, you know, I got caught in a YouTube algorithm, getting clicks or whatever it is, you know, and I I, I wouldn't um I would have forgave them, you know, because I I, I would have had more respect for that. Yeah, that's that's the thing, man. As long as you up for the honest, you people forget forgive anything, you know? Like you like, yo, my bad, whatever the case, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. But some people like they, they just don't got no morals, they ain't none of that shit. Like, it's like what if this man you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't, I don't know his pockets or anything. He's probably be like damn near a million, man. You know what I'm saying? Thanks to you know, to, to the fans and stuff like that that he has, like he gets sued, gets sued and stuff like that. What happens there? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What happens there? Like, you know, he's, he's sued. He's in this situation because of whatever Nick, I don't even know the, the full situation. I didn't even grasp it yet. But like the full situation, like whatever the situation that was. Because he's, he's putting like niggas, he's putting everybody in these crazy ass environments. Crazy ass environments. You're sitting there, you have to defend yourself and stuff like that. I ain't shit, bro. Somebody swing on me, you getting popped. But, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, it's just crazy. But, like, you know what I'm saying? He, he came there, to, you know what I'm saying, to be a brother to him, and, you know what I'm saying? He took advantage of his trust and stuff like that. And, like, but I would never forgot it about the situation, you know? The apologies that he was sending me, bro. I waited three days, y'all. Three days. One time he sent me a paragraph at 12 o'clock at night. Another one doing uh, the next day, probably doing the evening. And I ain't called. You send a paragraph, but you can't call somebody? That's an hour before this video, he sent me a text. And this is the only text I'm going to express to y'all, man. Like, I'm like, bro. Uh, so you're buying in it, uh, LOL. You don't understand how deep me and this man talked about our content. Uh, my pleasure. I don't care about his I don't know how to take that. You know, I don't know if that was the twenty dollars that you paid the dude 
to swing on me and he didn't. I, I don't know. You know, but hey, the nigga to swing on him? That's crazy. That's tough. He's a snake, dog. You know, you can ask Kenny. I waited three days just, just so you know he could be a man, just, just straight up, bro. And all Cloud is a, it's just, it's a drug, dog. People like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't do it. Going up to it, but cut, man. And um, that shit hurt me, bro. Um, So I'm going to take you guys back to uh, Miami. You know, because you guys remember, I, I was reacting to a lot of videos. I said, I'm going to pull up on him, you know. I guess uh, he had his sub goal, and I was going to pull up on him. And, you know, we just did this house of highlight situation. The only reason I did the house of highlight, you know, content thing that's going to be uploading real soon on their channel, um, it's because Nick was there. You know, I hit up Nick and said, bro, you going to this thing right here, bro? They're like, yeah, I'm going. I said, bro, we can collab then, you know. So that was the main reason why I even went to Miami. You know, was to do some content with him. You know, and um, he was person, he'll call me FaceTime Cash, and nothing gonna happen, bro. Let's link, you know, and all the things right here. He promised this man, nothing was gonna happen. He's a snake, dog. And to find out that, snake. through receipts, bro, I literally did my research. I DM the guy that he paid. Or supposedly pay or whatever it is. And he showed me text messages. You know, he asking, bro, how did he do against me in that video when a guy, you know, the little short guy, you know, like the dude who shoved me? I didn't even see the video. Shit kind of got me. <laughs> like, because I already know me. I already know me. Coming after Nick and, and old boy. Well, no, because he, he gave it a thousand. He told him and he didn't swing on him. But I'm coming up. That's what I would do. God, before the game, we got to look at my reaction. I'm like, bro, I don't understand why that dude even done that. You know, because like before the game, you're like, bro, I'm a big fan. You know, can we get a picture after the game and things like that? I, I, I couldn't believe it. You know, but I just played with it. I'm like, okay, you know, the camera's on. I guess the energy high. You know, and now that I go back and look at it, y'all, what if the dude would have swung on me, bro? What if the dude wasn't a, a, um, a supporter, a fan? You know? What a dude really had hate, you know, like, you don't know how much you put me at risk, how much I'm- I was just fucking saying that. That's what I'm telling you. Putting people at risk. Jeopardizing, you know, like, how much meditation I have put in throughout the years, how much therapy sessions I had went to to control my anger, you know? Um, and... I just had flashbacks like, bro, that dude would have swung, bro. Like, I, I would have blacked out. Like, insane. you guys know the rest, bro. Is that? You know, you guys know the rest, bro. Uh, but that put my brand, my team, you know. All at risk. Please, bro. That's, can't be doing that. Just, I could have got sued. Yep. You know? For I'm about to end this shit right here. So I'm saying, see, I said I said that in the beginning of the video. Crazy content for some clicks, bro. So that, you know, and that, and that shit hurt me because we was on phone call, Facetime calls, y'all. You know, and a dude, was, bro, nothing gonna happen to you. We gonna make sure nothing happened to you, bro. I got you back. Everything happened, bro. You know, and and that's why I pulled up on fifty car man. That it happened. Some, you know, what I'm saying that's why I pulled up on. I'll go to Louisiana. I'll do that. I'll go out there. We gonna play ball. That's why I pulled up out there. You know what I'm saying? So it's all love. It ain't nothing crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's all love. He showed me love when I got out there. It was all love when we went out there. But Chris sent me that text message, bro. I couldn't believe it. He sent me that text message. As soon as he dropped the IG video, I, I, I couldn't believe it, bro. And like I said, I waited three days. I did my research. I hit the dude up personally yesterday. And uh, the guy, the short guy in that video, I look at the old DMs, you know, from the guy, you know, like, bro, Cats was inspired by you. Thank you so much. It's, it's. Let's get some music. You got to stir him up. They're like, yeah. And let me make sure. I got receipts, bro. Of the, the dude literally you paid for, bro. 
Like I got he got, he showed me text messages of Let me make sure, yo. Easy. Let me let me double check right now. Snake, dog. He's a fucking snake. You no, know, I'm not gonna show the DMs. He's a fucking snake. The text message whatever could the phone numbers on here. Press him hard, bro. Low key. Uh, should be trying to fight. And the dude in the video was like, yeah, I feel you. I know where you're coming from. I got you. Man, you got to stir him up. This is... Um, this right here is Nick, I guess. At the end, we'll tell Cash it was fake. But you got to go above and beyond talking shit. Hard, and the dude texts. He said, um, hard files, basketball related. I got you, bro. And then... Um, Nick said, just talk relentless shit. Tell Cash he sucks. Uh, we, etc. I slide you $100 minimum. If you go above and beyond with entertainment, I slide you more. Yo. Uh, and I don't even want to hear that. Let's, I'm let's mad get to whatever he's Yeah, I would have respected that more than just, you know, the my bad, bro. I'm sorry. You know, don't believe the things going on in the net. Chris said lies. I did my own research, bro. Three days, bro. I could have been uploading the video. I could have been, you know, acting impulsively. Because it had me hot. It had me hot. Went to the gym twice. Went jogging. Just didn't know how to feel about this, man. My bad. I'm just skipping. Well, on the couch, it got some... I'm getting the music. You know, I grew up playing in the parks, okay. uh, playing park I knew, basketball. I, yeah, I knew this I man for a long, bro. My life, but just in Brooklyn. I knew this man for forever. Um, ended up getting into music, yeah. um, getting into artistry and stuff like that, and uh, started creating music. Yeah. yeah. Are like, these porn star questions, bro? Like, do you still? Do you still <laughs> porn star I, I went ahead and you know, I remember my ones and tough. Like, that's how I went, and then you know Nick was like, Oh my God. That's how it all happened. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah! This is just what I need. <laughs> and that's how I met Nick. I remember uh, right into that oh, video. What's the situation with your prior teammates? Um, oh, with Chauncey and Carlos? And, yeah. I mean, it's nothing, there's no situation, you know what I mean? It's just, it is what it is. Guys. They have an option, man. You know, I hit Chauncey up, I, talk, I hit Carlos. I, you know, I'm the one who exposed to Carlos. Originally, you know, how much Nick is making and what the bread situation was like and how he's getting treated and what he's getting. The situation was always love. It's always love with Carlos, Chauncey, man. They ain't do nothing to me. You know what I mean? If anything, you know, me and Chauncey, you know, in fact, me and Chauncey yeah. in a situation where there was some shit going on and we kind of rode together. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't, you know, I just made sure it was a one. You know, it's not like, you know, we... Do I was right here, yo. I'm not gonna try to like really intrude, you know, with they um, drama, with they situation got going on. I'm just gonna hear it out, you know, if they coming out by me or anything I know about it, you know, I'm gonna talk on it. But you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna try to be that guy, man, try to input myself into it, everything. Right. Like, people like him, I appreciate. I'm the same way. I don't know. Like uh, for the most part, the relationship with Nick was, was pretty positive. Man. Um, but there was just a lot of confrontational moments and just character traits that I noticed, bro, that, like, every time I spoke to him, he just, he just completely, you know, always made sure that he mentioned how he didn't feel like he owed anybody anything from the channel. That's like, oh, this is mine, I built this, I, what, I don't owe anybody anything, you know? And it was when I noticed that type of beat. Yeah, I know it, bro. And, and what <laughs> hurt me too, bro, like, when we have these deep conversations me and Nick, bro, you know, he'll be like, bro, thank you, Cash. You know, like, like, bro, thank you so much, bro, to react, react to the videos, bro. Like, without you, Cash. Like, he was, he was the person to be, be, be thankful behind the camera to me. But yeah, that, the reason why he's thankful to you is because you have more of what he wants. But if he somebody's loaded, you know what I'm saying? I can see that. I can see him broken down on some who doesn't have as much as you had. I can see that. You can see it in his face and like just like you know what I'm saying, I just did a reaction of him doing that to 
It's just now like I could, I could definitely see. It's the fate, man. He just trying to get on your side because you got the clout. You know? And you that dude. You, you on the top. Then he right here. He trying to get where you at. And then we got that. Ain't nothing to talk about, bro. Like, he, he gonna treat you like shit. That's how it is, bro. Yo, you know, without you, bro, wouldn't be here and things like that, man. Like And like I said, y'all, I was helping out before he became with Savage Squad. And you helped him get there. <sighs> For some clicks, bro. Like... That's what I'm saying. That I kind of realized, all right, I have to do everything for myself here. I have to take the situation I'm in and I capitalize on myself. Bro, I went, yo, the only reason why I have a channel is because when we went to LA to play Too Hype, I basically told Nick, I'm bringing my cameraman, I'm shooting my content, or I'm not playing. When we and I vouched for him, to like, with Too Hype, man, like, you know, with my, with my crew. I, I basically vouched for him, and it's. Damn, bro, that's. <sighs> we got to LA after I paid for I paid for my own hotel stay and everything. Nick didn't even cover the trip. He bought me a two hundred fifty dollars Spirit flight ticket. I didn't pay for the hotel. I paid for my own hotel there, right? Mind you, he's making thousands of dollars off the video. You know what's money he made off the two hundred videos? <laughs> he's making tons, but he didn't even cover my fucking hotel. I got there, had my cameraman who also, you know, skipped out on making bread to pull up to come, because it's really just my dog. He wasn't even really a cameraman. He's just my dog. Shout out to RJ, but real spill. You know the vibes. So we pulled up, and, we, and, 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 and <laughs> we were there, and Nick tried to tell me that Chris London said that I couldn't film. Bring my camera. Ooh. Look at this man's face. Oh, that's. Cat. Oh, that's cat. Look at his face. Like, what? Mm. I confirmed with Chris London that Chris London never said that, bro. Yeah, that's not he Chris to say that. that I can. <coughs> my, my cameraman to the run. So Nick was intentionally trying to make it so I can't get the content. While we were there, he's being a piece of shit. Like, he, he was just being an asshole about my camera guy, making it awkward. Right. All right? Here's a, here's a true story. My cameraman is my dog. He's my friend. I, and he's not really, my new one is different, but the one that, that shot the two hype game was there, right? How he <coughs> shot the 1v1 with Cash Nasty. After the game, he sat down and he watched the clips from Check Ball with Cash Nasty. All right? After that, I ended up booking too short of a stay. We stayed an extra day. The homie Iman is staying with some dude, Josh, that is like, I guess, used to be Nick's original cameraman. I don't know. Right. He was there with Iman. But let me get away from your crouch, man. <laughs> yeah. This look like a porn oh, star shoot, man. Like a porno shoot, man. Somebody asking the porno some questions, man. Uh, you know, I it's role that. play. You got to know what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. Room. Iman tells me, I, since I booked too short of a stay, I had to check out the 16th. The 17th, we're outside at lunch, and I'm like, oh, I got panic to go do whatever. Make a long story short, Iman offers me to leave my camera and my stuff and my belongings inside of his room and sleep on a cot in the room instead of just having to buy a new room. Right. Everything was all good. It was all planned. Me and Josh went to go, which is the old cameraman, I guess, went to go buy some loud. We were chilling, mm -hmm. burning, chilling, whatever. All of a sudden, I go out to eat. While I'm out to eat, 11.30 at night, I get a text message. Oh, you can't stay. Basically saying, oh, Josh is making it a big deal. You can't sleep in the room. After I was gone all day and my stuff was in the room all day. This was Iman saying this? Yes. Okay. 11.30 at night. And now it's 11.30 at night at LA, the last night there. The flight's not till 10 o'clock at night the next day. 10 p.m. in the evening. I got nowhere to stay. I got, I'm scrambling. I'm trying to find a room. There's no rooms. Everything's booked. Everything's sold out. I booked a flight. I ended up paying more money to book a flight 10 to 1 and head home next day. I get home. I edit the video. I go to get everything done. And I edit the, the mic up 5 and 5 too high. After I'm done, I go to try to do the 1v1. I have the cash. The footage is deleted. It's gone. It's not on my camera. That's why I remember he hit up me for the 1v1. Because I think I had Kenny... That's why the guy looked. That's crazy. And then the fact, like, I just wanted to hear 
Yeah, say something. About the fact that he's confirming that shit. This nigga, snake dog. Damn. Dude, that video, I think I did my reaction like it was going through my channel. You know, because I think I was going to upload or whatever it is. But then Chris hit me up and he was like, bro, like my, my video footage has been uh, deleted, blah, boom, boom. I'm like, bro, I've been deleted, whatever it is. Can you send it to me? I send him the footage, bro. Just I'm just straight like, bro, you know, bro, upload it, bro. I'm still going to react to it, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I went to, I thought he was like, first, I thought he wanted to get it from me because he wanted to be like, um, can't, I wasn't going to upload it, wasn't going to do nothing from it. Bro, I said, man, do your video. I'm going to react to it. I got nothing to hide, bro. Go pay these bills. Yeah, yeah. He's a real one. Yo, Cash is a real Where? one. Hey. My boy literally confirmed. Yo, I watched the footage, like three minutes of it. You checked up the ball, everything. The Cash Nasty footage is gone. Damn. The only reason why I have that footage is because Cash sent it to me. Because he shot away his camera as well. Shout out to Cash, man. Fucking real. Rich, man, I swear, bro. Anyway. <laughs> Appreciate it, dog. So, following that up, how was his relationship with his other teammates, Nick? Damn, if I would have never recorded that video, bro, with Kenny, he that thing would have never went up. Damn, y'all, I love you. It's crazy. Mother, you're this, you're that. You know, Carlos, oh, yeah, I got you. I, I, all that shit, right? Bro, as soon as I'm not around, it's just me and him, we're talking. He's talking about how Carlos is fucking terrible. <laughs> you know, but, you know, at this point, he's the entertainer, so we have to keep him around no matter what. So every other day is a conversation about who's replacing Iman. Every other day, literally. Chauncey, you know, in, in front of all oh, you, my brother, I've even posted a screenshot. Oh, you, my brother, I'll especially go to war with you, right? Bro, I literally have text messages with a dude named John that we pulled up to RDV because he wanted to replace Iman, or uh, Carl, or Iman Chauncey. He literally would say how he just doesn't feel like he should pay Chauncey. <laughs> Nick doesn't. Yeah. Bro, I can That's get easily get somebody else here that, you know, is just going to be blessed to be a part of the opportunity. He said. Bless my ass. Pay me. Pay me. Fuck all the blessings. I don't need no blessings. Pay me. Yes. He's like, give me a paying your money. Like, I can get an A1 Hooper, he says, to come play. And I had to argue with him. I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? Chauncey's been with us from the jump. Pay the man, bro. Thanks. Day like, one. What are you doing? Day one. Who cares? You know? And he figured because at that time, by the time we were having that conversation, my channel was up and all that shit, he's thinking in his head, like, okay, well, Chris is straight. I don't got to give him shit. He made his channel for nothing, even though I tried to stop him from filming. You know? He's already up. It's inevitable. He already kind of... I tell you now, y'all, me being so long in the YouTube game, man, you only as strong as your team is, man. You only as strong as your team, and you have to take care of your team. Yeah. Always. Uh, uh, even if you're just your homeboys. Hmm? Like, through my experience with YouTube, y'all, everybody that always been around me, I made sure they ate in some type of way. If it was currency, the channel, or whatever it is, because they got... If I'm taking away my, do. like, I I, I never do. feel like that I'm so important to somebody else's life to where I feel like if I take away your time, that your time is not monetized as well. You know what I mean? If you helping me make some type of monetization uh, 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 with, with my business, I, I got to help you out as well. You know, just 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 putting you on, just having the video voice or whatever, that's not enough for me. You know, I, I can't sleep through the night doing that. You know, like, your boys got to eat with you, man. You know, or, or your boys not going to be your boys. You know, they're they going to end up turning on you. You know, they going to have some type of envious, you know, jealousy, you know, like I'm rocking this 30,000 watch, you know, and my boy over here, he 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 got a rubber band on his hand, you know, but he's in all my videos. He he with me all the time. You know, that's that's suckish. I ain't going to say it. That's that's me. Come on, you know, we're gonna do it. None of them. That's just me. Can't control my content now. Right. Gotta so be the team, bro. He like, you know, a little bit more equal eyed, I guess you could say. Right. Asking me about shit like that. I was like, bro, you're a piece of shit. And, that, and that's why I, it was around that time when I started recording. You know, like, shit, bro, because I'm like, this guy. So what I do with me, like, I said, you know, I went to Florida, whatever it is, man. Pay for all my boy trips, pay, pay for the stay, pay for, you know, you just off the street. 
thank you for your time. I know we best friends, you know, but at the end of the day, man, thank you. You know, it's, it, it's crazy, shit. man. Some people don't see that mindset, bro. The fuck? Guy's a terrible person, bro. You, we're out building your channel. You're making thousands and thousands of dollars. And the first thing you think about is how you can replace Chauncey with somebody who's a hooper, a better hooper, and they're not going to ask for money? Right. <laughs> what? So, well, it was kind of like a snowball effect into now I need to pay money. I didn't watch yeah. their videos because how good they were. Like, I watched the video because they personalities. Yeah. Okay. You know, uh, uh, Chauncey, um, <laughs> his skills showcase, but also his personality too, bro. Too funny. Uh, you know, we, we all know Carlos, Amon, you know, I mean, the Abraham character, the you know, the going back and forth, Chris with his personality, channel. you know, underneath the rim. Like, it, 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 so it just, it's a beautiful so thing with personalities can clash together and make, you know, the type of content they have, man. good content. You know, but. So he controls everything. Which I will not be associated, you know, with um Savage Squad, but like react to the videos anymore, bro. Literally brother. cornering everybody. That's big. That's crazy. That's big. But I'm glad. It's Nick don't, he don't deserve it. Okay. Where he's in control of it everybody's sucks, but yeah. channel, everybody's shit, and he owns everything. It's him, just him. So, what was the first situation that you know escalated to? Yeah, and which he literally admitted to me on a conversation that in the land he paid the two guys that were fucking being annoying and started a problem he paid them to fuck with me so he literally told me and admitted that he paid that guy and he was staged to come make a problem with me. bro man that bro, people react different bro like I know I'm calm now y'all you know he's to get me off him, you know, like I black, I black out doing rage, bro. Like I, I'm looking, bro. I. I got this is what it is. Not me, don't touch me. This is what it is. All I see is you. <laughs> You're gonna have to knock me out. Yes. <laughs> and put me on the ground. Yes, sir. You know, 100%. even if you on the ground, I'm not like I, I have that much rage whenever I'm angry, bro. My boys know, bro, and that would have put my team in a, in a situation, bro. That would have put my brand. I probably would have got sued. You know, that would have that would have hurted me a well, lot. I ain't gonna lie, I had enough of this already, man. This is a lot, a lot more drama than I thought it was gonna be. Damn, this is that. I, need, I don't like having these long ass videos, bro. So. We just gonna cut this shit short. Um, yeah, man, it's crazy. I'm gonna put the link in, in the video, or whatever, so y'all can see everything and shit. Cause like, bro, all this drama is crazy. I fuck with all that. Shit. I really don't. Yeah, all that drama. But I uh, appreciate you guys for stopping by, man. Um, yeah, nah. Yeah, I, I knew, I knew Nick was a fraud though. Said it way back when, way back when. You know, nobody listened to me. You feel me? Just is what it is, man. But yeah.